Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I will be explaining .mdp file of Promax. So it's molecular dynamics parameter file. So what is .mdp file? It's a plain text file that contain all parameters and settings required to run molecular dynamics simulation. That means it tells Gromax what to do, whether minimization, equilibration, what to run simulation and how to do it. That means what kind of algorithm will be used for integration, for periodic boundary condition or for force calculation. And different condition like temperature, pressure, cutoff distance, simulation state, everything can be set up using this .mdp file. This is the most important file and we can modify it manually to set up our own simulation as per our requirement. So the mdp file act as a control center for the simulation. Okay. And this mdp files are actually required for three main steps that means minimization, equilibration and production run. And the basic concept or theoretical concept about molecular dynamic simulations are actually required to set up this .mdp file. Therefore, I suggest you to watch my tutorials, tutorial number 1 to 5 on theoretical concept of molecular dynamic simulation before watching this tutorial on .mdp file. Otherwise, you will be unable to understand the content of .mdp file. Okay. So, let's start with the .mdp file of minimization. Let's see what are the content, what are the parameters which are required for minimization step. So, this is a .mdp file for minimization step. And you can see here the line starting with semicolon actually comment. It's for describing the different parameter and these are non-essential part. Gromax simply ignored this line. That's why I have colored it in red. So you can also remove this line. Okay. Only the essential lines are colored here in black. So during minimization step of MD simulation, here we are using integrator or algorithm, the steepest descent method. And the short form or the command for steepest descent method is steep. That's why it is mentioned as steep. Next, mTOL, that means energy minimization total. So, the energy minimization will continue until the maximum force becomes less than 1000 kilojoule per mole per nanometer. The EM step, that means energy minimization step equals to 0 0.01 nanometer. That means when the energy minimization process is running, each atom can be allowed to move maximum 0 0.01 nanometer from, it, from its initial position. Okay. And how many steps this energy minimization process will run? It is specified here, number of steps total 50,000 steps. So, the minimization process will stop in two conditions. If the maximum force is less than 1000 kilojoule per mole per nanometer or if 50,000 steps have been completed, which is earlier. Okay. Next segment, you see it's about the neighbor list. You know about the neighbor list already. For each atom, they are are surrounding few atoms which form the neighbor list and NST list equals to one means or every step of minimization the neighbor list will be updated and this is not the case in case of equilibration step or production run step during that step the frequency is very less that means after every 10 step or 20 step we update the neighbor list because that states are computationally demanding. And for updating the neighbor list, we use the Varlet algorithm and the atoms which are present within the grid are actually component of the neighbor list. 
that's why NH type equals to B. For calculating the electrostatic interaction, you know cutoff value is there. The traditional Coulombic calculations are done within the cutoff range and outside of the cutoff range is to evolve summation. That's why here Coulomb type within the cutoff range. So cutoff range is mentioned here 1 nanometer and this cutoff range is for both non-bonded interaction like Coulombic force that means electrostatic and for Van der Waal interaction. This is the cutoff value. Okay. And then periodic boundary condition is applied in all three dimensions x, y and z dimension. So that's all for the dot MDP file of minimization step. So this is the dot MDP file, a sample file for NVT equilibration. Okay. So let's see what are the contents. Here define positional distance. So D post raise that means positional distance. You know during equilibration stage we restrain the age bonds or the protein molecule so that it cannot move freely. Okay, you know already. So we apply positional distance during equilibration stage. Integrator equals to MD. MD specify the leapfrog integrator which is used to get or predict the new position of each atom. And this is the most important part. Number of states and DT. DT means the duration of the time state. Here 0 0.002 picosecond. That means 2 femtosecond. Each time step is of 2 femtosecond duration. And total step is 50,000. That means it's total 100 picosecond. So, if you want to change the equilibration time or production run time, you can simply change this step number. Because duration of the step is fixed 2 femtosecond, we use it 2 femtosecond. That's why you have to increase the number of steps. So, if we increase this from 50,000 to 5 lakh, so instead of 100 picosecond, it will be 1 nanosecond. That's how we can increase our simulation time. Then next part, output control. So how frequently you want to save the coordinate of each atom. And this is for NHT X out. That means number of steps. So after every 500 steps, each step is 2 femtosecond. So 500 into 2, 1000 femtosecond equals to 1 picosecond. So, after every one picosecond, we want to save the coordinate of each atom. And then, NST V out, that means it's for saving the velocity of each atom. And it is also done after every 500 steps, that means after every one picosecond. Similarly, for NST energy output, we want to save the energy of each atom. It's also done after every 500 steps. Next, bond parameter that means bond angle dihedral. Okay, so this bond parameter. So, first time we are running our simulation because during minimization it's not actually production run, but equilibration and production run we allow the atom to move freely. Okay, that's why we are first time starting our simulation. We can assume that we first time we are starting our simulation. So, continuation equals to no, that means we are not continuing, we are starting our first dynamic run. And then we apply positional distance and this is the algorithm for positional distance, link algorithm. And we apply this position distance on the age bond of the molecule and two other parameters for positional distance. Okay. Then for non-bonded setting, that means for Van der Waal or electrostatic interaction we have already discussed in minimization step then NST list that means after every 10 step each step 2 femtosecond that means after every 20 femtosecond we are updating our neighbor list but in case of minimization you have seen that in each step we were uh, preparing the neighbor list and cutoff value is same 1 nanometer for arc uh, 
for Coulombic and Van der Waal interaction. That so this is for non-bonded setting. And in case of electrostatic interaction, you know within this cutoff range, we directly calculate the electrostatic interaction. But outside of this cutoff range, we calculate electrostatic interaction through particle mesh wall. So particle mesh wall for long range electrostatic interaction, and this is for short range within the cutoff range. And this, these are two parameter of PME. Okay, some few more theoretical knowledge are required to understand this part. Then next, this is NVT ensemble, the dot MTP file of NVT ensemble. That means in this stage, we raise the temperature of our system, and we have a target to reach of 300 Kelvin temperature. So that's why reference temperature is 300 Kelvin. Okay. And for temperature coupling, that means we are using one thermostat, which is V rescale thermostat. It is modified Berenden thermostat. Don't uh, confuse with it, its normal Berenden thermostat. It's modified Berenden thermostat. That means Bushi Donadio, Parnilo Rahman thermostat. It is mentioned as V rescale. And temperature coupling group, protein, non protein, all these, uh, this part of system. Protein, non-protein for both, the temperature is 300 Kelvin, that is the target. Then pressure coupling, it is off. You see, P couple, no. Because this is NVT ensemble, we only set the temperature, so no barostat is applied. Okay, that's why it's no. Then periodic boundary condition is applied in all three dimensions, that's, for it. that's why X, Y and Z. Now, one important part, generate velocity. Because during equilibration step, NVT step, first time we start our production run. We allow our molecules to move. That's why for each atom, velocity are generated. That's why generate velocity, yes. Generate temperature, yes, 300 Kelvin. And generate speed. And it is set as minus 1. If you write here minus 1, then it becomes default. And Velocity generation will be random. That means every time you start with this MDP file, different velocity will be assigned for each atom. Okay. So if you have started your simulation, then you stop. Again, you start your simulation. Initial velocity of the atoms will be assigned randomly. That's why. For same duration of simulation, you may not get the same trajectory. So that's all for .mdp file of NPT ensemble. In next part, this is for NPT ensemble. And because we have already discussed about this parameter, these parameters are same for the NPT and NPT ensemble. That's why I have colored it as green. We are also applying positional distance during NPT ensemble integrator number of step, time step is similar, we can change it during NPT ensemble or we can keep it same, okay. Then output collection after every 500 step, these are also same. But here is something different that means continuation bond parameter, yes. But in NPT ensemble, we have seen that it was no because first time we were assigning the bond parameter. But during NVT ensemble, since we have already assigned the bond parameter, so, you, so we are continuing from that step. That's why it's continuation yes. Same thing when you see generate velocity. So here it is mentioned no. That means we do not generate velocity at this stage. We have already generated velocity in the NVT ensemble and we are continuing with that initial velocity. So for rerunning any MD stimulation, it always starts from the NVT ensemble, not NPT or not production run. Please keep it in your mind. Okay, this thing are same. What is different for pressure coupling? In NPT ensemble, we are using now the barostat along with the thermostat. Thermostat is already present, V-scale thermostat. Extra is the pressure coupling. So we are here using this. Algorithm, Parallel Rahman Barostat, 
in NPT ensemble. It's the isotopic barostat. Few other parameters of this barostat. Okay. And periodic boundary condition same. We have applied periodic boundary condition, but we are not generating velocity at this stage. This is the MDP file for production done. It's very similar with the NPT ensemble because we run our simulation in NPT ensemble. Okay. But some parts are there which we can modify. Like in case of production run, we always increase our simulation time. So it may be from 1 nanosecond to 1 microsecond. Next part output control. You can see NHTX output that means coordinate, velocity, net force, energy. These are not collected because these data are usually saved in format of .trr file which is very bulky. Okay, so during production run, instead of generating .trr file as output, we use .xtc file, which is the compressed form of .trr file. That's why we do not save this data. Instead, we save this data NST energy or NST log or NSTx out compressed. That means is dot xtc format here we save instead of after every 500 step we use 5000 step after every 5000 step we save the energy or coordinate in dot xtc file here you can see no positional distance so during production run we remove the positional distance in last you see in case of NPT ensemble here mentioned define positional distance but in production run MDP file positional distance is not present. So these are the different parameters which we can modify or change to set up our simulation as per our need. You can change the different algorithm for your simulation or equilibration. You can change the time step to increase your simulation time. You can get output frequently or less frequently whatever you need okay you can use different kind of temperature uh, thermostat or barostat okay you can rerun your simulation with different random velocity so that's all for dot mdp file thank you thank you for watching